What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying Wait in the here. car... Just listen to yourselves. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? What, you shot a guy? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week! And someone's got Alice! Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you Wait start here. confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, <laughs> you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? <laughs> oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. <laughs> If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know. I just don't want any trouble. Right, thanks. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al! Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry! They'll kill her! This is not a goddamn debate, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Locking the door now. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest.
Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. <laughs> Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her... <laughs> the air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Good 
The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. I just need hunting licenses. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park. License! Obey! Ranger's instructions! Yeah, at all times! Rusty? Rusty, no! Never! No approach to them 100 yards! Do bears and wolves never approach any other wildlife closer than 25 yards? That must be least! Never! Leave your pet unattended! Against the wall. To remove any... Oh, sorry, 